Here in part A, you have a function 3x cubed plus ax squared plus bx minus 10. And you have this information given. When it's divided by x minus 1, the remainder is k. When it's divided by x plus 1, the remainder is minus 10k. They want you to frame this equation. Our remainder theorem says when the function is divided by x minus 1, the remainder will be f of 1. You replace x by 1 here. That's the remainder. So frame my equation using this. Replace x by 1. So we'll have 3 plus a plus b minus 10 equals k. Okay. Now using the second information, x plus 1, when the function is divided by x plus 1, you replace x by negative 1 here, f of negative 1. That's the remainder, minus 10. Now replace x by negative 1. Negative 1 whole cube is negative 1. Negative 1 whole square is positive 1. Negative 1 times b minus 10 is minus 10k. They want you to frame this equation. So how do we do that? You need to find a way to combine these two equations. You will get this already. How do we do that? k is this, right? Maybe you can rewrite this. 3 minus 10 is minus 7. a plus b minus 7 is k. Here, a minus b minus 13 is minus 10k. In the place of k, I'm going to substitute this, this equation. a plus b minus 7. Simplify, put everything on side, you'll get this equation. You see, minus 10a comes here plus 10a, so I got 11a. Minus 10b comes here plus 10b. Minus 1 plus 10b is 9b equals positive 70 the 13 comes here 83 we got the equation already so here one of my student asked me so can i just solve the simultaneous equations we have two equations can i solve the simultaneous equations find the a and b values and plug in the values here to prove that it is equal to 83 the answer is Correct, actually you are allowed to do that but the problem here when you try to solve these two simultaneous equations you cannot solve it because look at the equation you have one two three variable one two k okay, one two three variables when you have three variables you need minimum of three equations to solve the simultaneous equation if you have only a b no k only a b no k you can find the value of a and b if you can find the value of a and b, you can plug it in here and say that 11a plus 9b is 83. You are allowed to do that. In this case, no matter how hard you try, you cannot solve these simultaneous equations. So this is the only way. You need to get rid of k because there is no k here. Find a way to get rid of k. It's up to you how you want to do that. Once you get rid of k, you will get this equation automatically. Here part b says 3x minus 2 is a factor of f of x. If 3x minus 2 is a factor, when you divide f of x by 3x minus 2, your remainder will be 0. Or in other words, if you use remainder of factor theorem, if you replace x by 2 over, you need to find x from here. Put it as equal to 0. So x will be 2 over 3. Replace x by 2 over 3 here. So your f of 2 over 3 will be 0. There will be no remainder because it's a factor. So plug it in here. You will get another equation. Solve these two simultaneous equations. 3 times 2 over 3 whole cube. A times 2 over 3 whole square. B times 2 over 3 minus 10 is 0. So this is basically 2 cube is 8 over 9, 8 times 4 over 9, b times 2 over 3 minus 10 is 0. I'm going to multiply throughout the equation by 9 to get rid of the fractions. So I get 8 plus 4a plus, when you multiply this by 9, 9 over 3 is 3, so 6b 
minus 90 is 0. So 4a plus 6b, a minus 90 is minus 82. Bring it here, you get 82. So you have two equations. Use any method you know to solve these two simultaneous equations and find a and b. So you will get a is negative 8, b is 19. That's it. Okay, in part C, they want you to find this quadratic expression g of x, where f of x can be written as this times this. First, we plug in the values of a and b into the function. a was minus 8. And the value of b was 19. You see, the 3x minus 2 is a factor of this function. There are several ways you can find g of x. If you bring this here, f of x divided by 3x minus 2, you will get g of x. That means basically if you use long division method and divide the function by 3x minus 2, you will get a quotient, right? A, the quotient will be a quadratic expression which is g of x. Another way of solving it, write this function here, 3x cubed minus 8x square plus 19a minus 10. equals, write this, 3x minus 2, and they say g of x is a quadratic expression. So put it as ax square plus bx plus c. That's a quadratic expression. Now, without even applying long division method, you can find the values of a, b, and c. How do we do that? First, this is supposed to be cube, right? First, compare these two or equal, so compare the coefficient on both sides. Take x cube both sides. Here you have 3x cube. Here once you open the bracket, this times this will give you x cube. So you'll have 3a x cube. So the coefficient of x cube is 3a. a is 1. That gives us a is 1. Now maybe Compare the quotient of x square both sides. Negative 8 is here when you multiply 3x by this, you will get x square. So 3b x square. And when you multiply these two, you will get x square minus 2a x square. You don't need to take x square, just the quotient. Replace a by 1 here. Negative 2 comes here, positive 2. So, minus 6 is 3b, b is minus 2. And then if you want to find c, compare the constant term both sides. When you compare constant both sides, negative 10 equals, when you multiply 3x by any term, you will have x in it, it's not a constant term. But minus 2 times c will give you constant term, so c is 5. So you got the ABC values, you can write the expression g of x as ax square bx plus c. This is called comparing the coefficient method. This might be new to you, those who are taking p1 and p2, but let me tell you this is one of the easiest methods also. But if you don't want to learn this method, because you are comfortable with the long division method, go ahead and apply long division method, divide f of x by 3x minus 2, you will get a quotient, you write the function f of x here, which is 3x cubed minus 8x square plus 19x minus 10, divide by 3x minus 2. When you divide by 3x minus 2, your remainder will be 0, apparently, because 3x minus 2 is a factor. You will get a quotient here, which will be same as this. You get the same quotient here. Now up to you which method you want to use. But those who are taking P3 and P4, you are definitely going to learn this method in P3. And it's not 
it's not really difficult. You just need to compare the coefficient both sides, you can get the value of ABC.